Question number five. The following table shows the monthly expenditure for the entertainment in a group of hundred students. Find the median of our expense. Now this is the expenses is given and the number of students which will be our frequency. First take into the table. As you can see the frequency is given in the normal way. The last question where it was keep on reducing. So here we can say it is a normal one. So out of this first of all we will find out the cumulative frequency. That is 8 plus 23, 31 plus 40, 71 plus 70, 88 plus 7 that is 95 and plus 5, 100. So here our cumulative frequency is ready and in this question they have only asked to find out the median. As you can see a continuous frequency distribution is there. So here we will find out the median in the value of n upon 2 the observation. So here we found the number is 100 divided by 2 the observation that is 50th. So here we will find out where the number 50 will come. Here we can see the 71 will underline with the class which will be our lower limit. This will be our frequency and this will be our cumulative frequency. So let's keep into the formula. The lower limit is 400 and upon 2 just now we found that is 50. Cumulative frequency 31, frequency 40 into the class length 400 minus 600 that is 200. So let's complete the calculation. So out of this calculation I found 95 which will be add with 400 then it would be 495. So here we can see the median is 495. Moving to the next question. Question number 6. The following data indicates record of hospital stays in days of 30 patients admitted to a hospital. Where here the information is given. Find the median stay. Further convert this information in a continuous frequency distribution in the inclusive type by taking a class of equal length starting from 1 to 3. And then after again we have to find out the median from the frequency distribution and compare it with your earlier answer. So out of this information we are going to find out median twice. Once with the raw data and another time we are going to make a cl continuous class in the inclusive type and again we will find out median. So first let's take the question in our book. Here I took the question. First we will arrange them as per the raw data. First we will arrange it in a ascending order. As we can see the number 1 is the lowest one. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 4 times we will write down 1. Next is 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 times 2. This is how you have to complete first and arrange them into the ascending order. I arrange all the numbers in ascending order. The total numbers are 30. Then after as this is the raw data, here we will find out median with the formula value of n plus 1 divided by 2 the observation. So here n is 30 plus 1 divided by 2 the observation which will be 31 upon 2 which is be 15.5 the observation. Now it is 15.5. So first of all, we'll go and find out which one is the 15th observation. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, but then after 0.5 is there. So here we'll find out, here we'll write, here 15.5. Hope you remember the question number 3 where we find out the percentile. Here the 15th observation and 0.5. The 0.5 where the 16th observation will also include it. 
but here we, first of all we will write down value of 15th observation plus the 0 0.5 then 15th 16th observation minus 15th observation so here value of 15th observation is here we found is 4 plus 0 0.5 16th observation that the next of 15 that is 4 minus 15 observation that is 4 again. So here 4 plus 0 0.5 4 minus 4 it is 0. 4 plus 0 0.5 into 0 it is 0. So 4 plus 0 is equal to answer will be 4. So here we found median that is 4 days. So moving to the next that what has been asked in the question that out of this information first we have to make a continuous frequency distribution. So for this first we will make a tally marking to find out the correct frequency. First here we will prepare class where here the equal class length of 1 is to 3 as a trial is given. And as it is an inclusive frequency distribution so the next number will be 4 to 6. There is a difference of 3. 1, 2, 3. So, here we will make 4, 5, 6. Then, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12. So, here my class is ready. As you can see, the minimum value was 15 and the maximum was 15. So, uh, out of this, here we are ready with the class. Now, Next step is we'll make a tally marking so we can find out the correct frequency for this. First one, second is seven over here, next ten, the next one was three, two, five. This is how please continue with your tally marking. So after completing tally marking, Write down the frequency number that is 13, 9, 5, 2 and 1. And here we will find out N, 30. After finding frequency, the next step is to find out cumulative frequency. 13, 13 plus 9, 22 plus 5, 27 plus 2, 29 plus 1 will be 30. So when we are working with the continuous frequency distribution, here we will find out the median with the value of n upon 2 the observation. So here n is 30 and the answer to find out the value of 15th observation. Now the 15th observation we will find out in the cumulative frequency which will come in here we got the answer 15th observation which will come in cumulative frequency 22 which include the class 4 to 6. Here you can see the class is given information in inclusive continuous frequency distribution whereas before whichever sol the whole solution of exercise 3.4 where all the questions information was given in exclusive. So this is the one of the important points to be noted that when we are taking the lower boundary point we need into the information into exclusive continuous frequency. Hope you remember which we have learned in the second chapter that minus 0 0.5 with the lower boundary point and plus 0 0.5 with the upper boundary point. So here you will get the exclusive continuous frequency distribution. This will be quite lengthy process to find out. So better which wherever the class we stop over there only you make it this calculation minus 0 0.5 with the lower boundary point and plus 0 0.5 with the upper law upper boundary point so here we'll get 3.5 even here i can show you the class that is the second number so here is the one which is turned into the exclusive frequency distribution. So our lower boundary point will be 3.5 as per the exclusive continuous frequency distribution. So here we'll take lower boundary point as 3.5 plus n upon 2 just now we found is 15 
माइनस सी एफ उसके ऊपर वाला नंबर दैट इज थर्टी फ्रिक्वेंसी इन द सेम लाइन नाइन नाउ फॉर द क्लास लेंथ एज यू कैन सी द डिफरेंस ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट फाइव टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव इज थ्री सो नाउ कंटिन्यू विद द कैलकुलेशन फिफ्टीन माइनस थर्टी विल बी टू अपॉन नाइन इन टू थ्री प्लस द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ दिस विल बी जीरो पॉइंट सिक्सटी सेवन सो विल एट दैम बोट विल गेट फोर पॉइंट सेवेंटीन डेज सो हियर मीडियम इज क्लासिफाइड विद द डेटा फोर पॉइंट सेवेंटीन डेज विच इज क्वाइट सिमिलर विद द डेटा विच वी हैव फाउंड इन द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ रॉ डेटा दिस इज आर लास्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस एक्सरसाइज मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट with the information of mode